So actually, it's not actually a bug, but the fingerprint, the the code that I made is, if your finger is not registered, okay, it doesn't really care, it doesn't do anything. Pero kapag yung finger mo is registered, let's say ito, uh, this is Ardina Jill, ito si 11, so I'll just press this one. Match fun sending to server. So, ma open yung ating lock and engineer 11, welcome professor engineer 11, pwede ka nang pumasok and then after some time malalock ulit siya. Okay. So, big sabihin nakapasok ka na, di ba? So, this is where it gets interesting sa ating coding is that kapag nasa loob na, ah, uh, syempre pag nasa loob ka, kailangan ma-press mo muna yung exit para ma-complete natin yung DTR na gusto nating makuha which is our main objective dito. So, let's say pumasok ka tapos try mong pumasok ulit which is other different okay sorry match one sending the server questionable entry yung lalabas that's because it's pumasok ka kasi so therefore uh, kailangan mo munang mag exit bago ka pwedeng mag tap ng entry ulit kasi yung kailangan natin dito is a very correct DTR yung entry exit time nila which is very important so ipipress natin dito si number 1 okay match found so, pag lumabas ka, ito yung sasabihin niya sa'yo. Okay, goodbye, Professor Engineer 11. So, now, uh, nalaman ng ating system kasi it, it sends data to the server. It will send data to the server na ito yung time, ito yung pumasok, yun yan. So, pag pumasok ka, meron kang time doon sa entrance database. So, pag press ka ulit kanina, chinek niya yung entrance database and yung exit database. Okay? So, nang chinek niya yung entrance and exit database, dapat kasi kapag Puma, nakapasok ka na okay, papasok ka pa lang uh, yung exit database na time is mas mataas compared sa entrance kumbaga mas, mas lumabas ka yung latest na nang, nangyari sa database is lumabas ka from the system or lumabas ka from the faculty room or anong room man yan okay. so kapag yung pinaka latest activity mo sa system is pumasok ka tapos yung next na naman na entry mo is papasok na naman ulit that's the time na meron siyang questionable entry example naman sa exit no Yung latest na activity nitong finger 1, itong tao na to, is lumabas siya. Try nating i-tap ulit dito sa exit. Okay, match found, sending to server. So, magka-calculate yung server. So, questionable entry din. So, kailangan kasi, di, kasi nasa labas ka, kailangan, uh, hindi ka pwedeng magkaroon ng dalawang entry. Dito, double entry yung tawag nila doon, or questionable entry. Kasi yung kailangan natin dito is i-correct uh, daily time record ng mga faculty. In which we can print dun sa ating faculty room so this is wireless remember wala siyang wire connected doon it's actually the, the hardest part ng ating problem is to make the wireless seem uh, wired no, or eh, not, no errors so punta natin yung database for us to check okay so sa registered users saan na yung mouse meron pala akong mouse dito so sa registered users so, meron tayong dalawa, si fingerprint num 0 and fingerprint num 1. Si yung 1 is engineer 11, ito yung kanyang number. Okay. Then, pumunta tayo sa entrance data. So, sa entrance data, as you can see, ah, ginamit ko yung, yung kamay ko kanina, number 0, pumasok ako. Andito yung time niya, 2018, 12, make it, uh, maintain siya clear, 12.08, 3.42pm. Okay. Pumasok si engineer 11, one is 12, 2018-1208 3.43pm Exit data tayo So, ito yung chinecheck niya yung time So, hindi pa lumabas yung finger ko nito yung 0 So, tinest ko lang kasi yung entry So, 2018-1208 Yung lumabas siya is 15.44 That's why, kapag i-press ko to ulit sa exit Ang napansin niya is yung exit database Later yung time kasi 3.44 kasi okay. Tapos yung entry natin is 3.43 Okay. So, kapag exit yung latest activity mo, tapos i-exit ka ulit, that's the time na magkakaroon siya ng questionable entry. So, ngayon, dito sa ating application, okay, although hindi ko pa actually nagawa yung DTR application, uh, ang plan natin is gumawa tayo ng uh, uh, parang calendar. Okay. Press natin kung anong date, then anong date dito. Ang kukunin ng ating system, okay, not actually siya perfect talaga na design, but kukuha siya ng lahat ng time, Lagay lang natin yung pangalan ng ano, faculty ano. 
faculty. So, kukunin yung lahat ng time entry niya during those time frame. Time entry ng entrance, then time entry ng exit. Parang yung entrance database and exit data. Yung mga time niya lang, date and time. So, that way, makikita natin kung uh, kailan siya pumasok, anong oras siya pumasok by this date, anong oras siya pumasok by this date. Parang ganun. So, mga registered yung data niya. So, kung nakita niyo sa database, ito siya. Yung latest activity niya is pumasok kanina, itong number 0. So, try ko siya ilagay. Dapat questionable entry yung lumabas. Okay. Match found, sending the server. Questionable entry. Kasi kailangan mag-exit muna siya. Kasi latest, entry, latest ano niya kasi sa database activity is entrance sa system. So, so by Professor RDNJ. Ito kasi kinangalan ko talaga sa pangalan ko, which is number 0, RDNJ. So, yun, makikilala niya pa actually kung sino yung pumasok so, uh, ano yung kulang sa system? Number one is web access. Dito sa ating uh, entries. Number two is, I'll need another a fourth video to uh, explain kung paano mag-work yung kapag hindi niya kilala yung finger. Kasi ang nalagay ko lang is, nag -e lang yung ating system sa pagkilala niya yung finger. So, what if, nag-register ako sa finger and then hindi ako nag-register sa database. Let's try. So, i-off ko siya. Okay, off ko yung dalawang machine. Okay, ganun dapat. Then, change state. Okay, ito yung nakalimutan kanina. Kasi mag-register ako. Then, on ko siya. So, remember, hindi naman siya ganun kasal kasi you will only register once. Sa so, pag-install lang ng machine. Actually, kukunin mo lahat ng tao, then i-register mo sila. So, once lang yan. Then, permanent na yan siyang operation. Unless may pumasok na bagong faculty or bagong student na kailangan ding register ganun lang, off lang. Okay, so finger number 2. Let's say register ko itong uh, middle finger. Okay, taken. Converted. Remove your finger. Okay, taken. Ah, did not match. Kailangan ayusin talaga yung paglagay. Kumbaga parang kailangan uh, mas secured siya ng konti. Okay. Fingers match, then you're almost success. So, ang next niya is number 3 na. So, ito siya, number 2 na siya ngayon. So, ilalagay lang natin yung pangalan dun na sa database talaga. Image taken, converted. Taken again. Version success. Fingers match. Success. So, number 2 yun siya. So, let's say hindi ko siya register doon. Okay. Dito ko lang siya na-register. Then, i-turn off ko na naman yung machine. So, remember, hindi naman to paraging turn on, turn off ka sa buong buhay or sa kinabahaba ng time. You just need to turn it on and turn it off. Actually, once lang. The time na mag register ka lang. Okay. So, this is powered by 12 volt supply. So, pag install mo to sa door dun sa entrance, just kailangan mo lang ng konting saksakan then i-box mo to ng maayos ito sa exit, i-box mo lang to ng maayos so, yeah. so ito number 0, number 1 and then this one is number 2 hindi ko siya na-register sa database let's try what happens match found, sending to server not registered on database okay. subukan na natin dito hindi siya na-recognize hindi pa rin na-recognize match found, sending to server by the way, kapag nag-register ka nito dapat ito din yung nilalagay mo kasi sa akin kanina ito yung nilalagay ko just because I'm touching it with one hand okay. so remember, pag na-register mo siya sa sensor database pero hindi mo siya na-register sa main database or sa external database so it will not work Okay. So, if you register, let's say, mga 500 na fingers dito, kailangan mag-register ka nyo. So, pala, ang, ang registration mo is three ways. Register sa in, 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 uh, input or, or entrance sensor, register sa exit sensor, and register sa main database sensor. So, anong kulang na kailangan natin idagdag is uh, the, another device for that one, I'll just be, so, kakausapin ko na lang kayo, sir, for, for that. Then, uh, next is, for our, ano, uh, for the machine natin sa or entry exit natin sa faculty for yung DTR yung 
access natin. Siyempre, admin lang yung pwedeng mag-access nun. So, para sa admin access, number one. And second is yung pag-print or pag-kuha ng data or pag uh, query ng data ng entrance and exit ng ating faculty. So, remember, this system has already has this foolproof na, ano, na double entry. Kasi hindi pwedeng pumasok siya, ma-register siya, mga conversion. Then, pumasok siya ulit, makikila. Kasi dalawang entry yun eh. So, makita sa database, erroneous yun. Mas marami talaga siyang entry bar yung exit. Okay. Actually, this way, you can also check yung admin, pwede siyang mag-check kung nasaan yung faculty, kung nasa loob ba siya ng, ng ano, naka-log naka in ba siya or naka-log out. Kasi, check mo lang naman kung ano yung latest data. Kung yung latest data or latest activity niya is pumasok siya, dito yung latest activity niya, sa entrance data, therefore, nasa loob siya ng school. Pag yung latest, let's say, chinect mo siya by 12, uh, mga 1pm, yung latest na exit niya is dito, ibig sabihin, lumabas siya. Okay. So, parang ganun. So, many times na nag-login siya, tapos next day na siya lumabas, actually that's impossible. So, may, that, those are erroneous na pwedeng mahuli yung teacher for something like uh, parang frauds na gano'n.